Alright everybody, what's up? We are back with another mod review, and obviously if you looked at the thumbnail, it is the FDR John Deere 948L Grapple Skitter. And this is our, another nice mod by uh, FDR and the gang. Uh, I, I did not expect this really, I mean I, I knew they were working on a different skitter. And then, well of course I'm a Patreon with FDR now, so I kind of get the inside information on what's coming up with FDR stuff, but I saw this pop up and I was like, oh man, that's cool. And uh, y'all haven't even seen the coolest part yet. Of course, if you watch most of FDR's videos, you probably saw that this uh, front blade, you can use it as a plow. And um, now the thing I'm a bit, I don't know, I guess, I guess I'm gonna have to get used to it, but you know, with the, sk with the skitter blades, I kind of like having control over them where I can, you know, raise it up and down to a certain level or whatever. This one here, all you get is either up or down. There is no manual control of it that I can see. Um, the the top part of the grapple arch does go up and down, and then the whole thing goes, you know, frontwards and backwards to um, tilt down to uh, pick up the logs. And the other, the other cool thing about it is. Um, it does have some different cameras, and I'll, I'll look at that it's from if you watch the uh, the Caterpillar 555D skitter back there. Uh, it only has two cameras, the inside and outside. This one actually has a third camera. But uh, first of all, let's take a look at the outside. Again, it's a, another very nice mod by uh, FDR Logins crew. Uh, everything's really detailed. All the little uh, you know bolts and and plates and stuff is all real cool. Uh, the the uh, guards and, and exhaust is all really spot on. Um, I'm not sure if those if these things are supposed to have a logo on the front or not. It doesn't, doesn't matter though. It's, I mean, we know it's John Deere. It's green and yellow. <laughs> but uh, no, everything is really cool. I, I like it. Um, so I, this is my first time really uh, looking at this myself. Uh, I, I downloaded it and played around with it just a little bit as I was driving it over from the sawmill, which is back that direction. Uh, if you can't tell, we're on Grizzly Mountain uh, right from my, my series I've been doing on Grizzly Mountain. But, um, alright, so uh, let's, let's just uh, hop in here and see what the thing sounds like. Alright, so just idling, it sounds pretty good. You know, sounds like, I don't know, pretty much any tractor. But, uh, whenever you do drive it, it does have that throaty, you know, kind of big diesel engine sound, so I like that. Now, the one thing I have noticed is the tires don't get dirty. Um, I'd like to see that in some future updates. Uh, like maybe this is uh, version 1. Maybe version 2 or version 3 for sure, I'd like to see the tires get dirty. And uh, you know, what I, what I think would be really cool too is, uh, I haven't seen this yet on, uh, I don't think any of the mods that I've downloaded, but all the in-game stuff, the, the stuff from Giants, you know, uh, all the, the metal parts and stuff that come in contact with the ground or get used or whatever, it gets, you know, the, the paint chips off, I'd, I'd love to see that on some of the mods too. So I don't, I don't think that any of FDR stuff does that at the moment. I know the, the track machines, which I, I accidentally, well, not accidentally, but I had to update the, the mods uh, to put the plow blade on it. So I went ahead and downloaded the latest uh, track machines that FDR has out, and I uh, lost my processor here. But it doesn't matter. I'll get it back. But anyway, what I was going to say was the processor and, I, and probably the track machine, the Tiger Cat 880 loader, wherever it's at, back there somewhere. Uh, the, the tracks do get dirty on that, which is pretty cool. But I'd love to see the skitter get dirty. Um, you know, like maybe some areas down here at the bottom where it would be in contact. Back here for sure, I'd like to see these plates get, uh, you know, a lot of wear on them and get dirt on there. Um, the grapple for sure, I'd love to see the paint chip off and and, and dirt and stuff on there. So, FDR, if you're watching, uh, let's 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 push for that here pretty soon. I, I mean, I would just make my day and make a lot of people's day. I think. I mean, I love the the dirt myself personally. If it's done right, I mean, you know, the the trucks and stuff that I've seen where they get dirty and they just get dirty everywhere. That's kind of ridiculous. I mean, 
so I mean make it kind of realistic you know the 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 wheels get dirty and the the uh, what are these things called the well I mean the wheels but the the metal parts of the wheels make those get dirty and chip paint and grapple and all that stuff and okay so enough enough about that all right so the mod does look good it sounds good so obviously we got the outside camera let's look at the inside camera all right and not, you know not a whole lot in here which I don't really spend much time inside so you know it doesn't bother me too much there's kinda you know, not much to it that's fine, that's fine. Um, of course you can obviously as you can see you can spin all the way around with the camera which is nice but there's also a grapple cam so you got this one it's static you can't move it so you can back up to a, a load of logs and oh it does have the grapple opening sound that's cool and then of course you know grab your logs and then off you go this this controller I'm gonna throw it out the window one of these days it's getting old I need to replace it with something better okay um well okay last time we compared the caterpillar skitter to this big uh, behemoth of a skitter we've been using <coughs> so let's let's do that again too So this machine here should be a little bit bigger than that Caterpillar. This John Deere 948, I think that's top of the line as far as the John Deere and the biggest one. So I mean you can tell the but Big Bud's obviously still a lot bigger, but this John Deere's kind of holding its own against that Big Bud, I tell you. Um, so we can we, we can see that there's some lights here. You know, we'll we'll speed up time here in a little bit, just like we did with the Caterpillar review and get a look at the lights but uh, okay so obviously the main test with these grapple skitters is how many trees can we pick up <laughs> so let's let's look at that oh and, I, and I'm also just I can't even tell you how excited I am that this thing actually articulates in the middle like it's supposed to it drove me crazy in farming simulator 17 whenever uh, FTR stopped doing the articulating frame because I mean that's I don't know I just I'm not going to go into it, but this is how it's supposed to be right here, folks. Okay, so let me get lined up just a little bit better than that. And let's check out the grapple cam. Alright. Okay, so we've got that that goes down, then the whole thing that goes down. I did not get a good grab on that smaller tree, but that's all right. Yeah, see, I don't know. This these grapples, they're just pretty pretty limited on what you can do because of the game physics. That's unfortunate, but that's just the way it is. Yep, they went one already. Yeah, I, I didn't really get a good, get a good grab on there. So let me let me pull those out. In fact, let me get this big butt out of the way. I tell you what, I ought to do. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna drop those. I've got a big old pile of trees right over here across the way that I've been using. I was testing that big bud. I'm just going to go over there. Yeah, see, I've driven across this dirt right here, this plowed ground a good bit, so it should have been dirtying the tires up if it was going to, so it, it doesn't, obviously, they don't have the tires where they can get dirty. But like I said, I'd, I'd like to see that in the least version two or three, you know, maybe get some dirt action going there and now my trucks in the way dang it all right well, I'll tell you what let's let's test out this blade a little bit so um, obviously I said that there's a, a, a plow blade and what you can do with that is uh, so you have to go into the hit you know if you're on PC hit up or well, <laughs> it's only for PC um, but so hit F1 to go into uh, your control menu there and you have to uh, 
hit Y to allow control fields or uh, allow fields and then you can hit the V key to lower the blade and I don't have access to that land okay well I thought I thought I had purchased that right back over here somewhere it should or maybe it's on the other side of the road I know I've got access to this over here I guess I should have tested that a little bit better before I started the video, but anyway. Okay, so now, now we got access to this land, I know. Okay, so hit V to lower it, and the cool thing about it is, uh, once you hit V to lower it, it automatically kind of, you know, adjusts to the terrain. So if you're going up a hill, the blade will, you know, not dig you in and stop you, but... Okay, so anyway, so here's the plow blade, and it's working, as you can see, and I think it's really, really cool. <laughs> that is an awesome effect. And so we can build us a little skid road using a skidder. <laughs> Remove the grass and the bushes and flowers and whatever else is up here. And just like that. So, And then if you don't want the field creation, all you gotta do is hit Y again. And see, I just hit Y and uh, my blade's still down. But watch this, whenever I go over here to the spot we haven't cleared yet and, and move forward, see it doesn't it doesn't do anything. Uh, wait, it looks like it took those bushes out. Though. I mean, those flowers. Does it remove the bushes and flowers? The flowers it does. The bushes it does not. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. Look at that. It doesn't do anything with the grass, but it takes those, those uh, little flowers out of there. That's pretty neat. And not that that's really anything groundbreaking, but I mean, that'd be kind of neat though if it took the bushes out. But it doesn't do that. Okay, well, oh, that's interesting. And of course, just hit V to, you know, raise it back up. So that's pretty handy if, you know, if you want to create some roads or something, or, uh, and then if you if you want to push some uh, logs up like this log right here, we've got at the end of the stack. If we needed to get it pushed back up, you know you can hit V, but not have it to create fields, and then just uh, you know push that log back up like that. So that's pretty cool. I like that. That is neat. Uh, you know, I was thinking. Uh, not long ago, actually, that I, w I wish somebody would come out with a bulldozer that had a blade on it where you could bulldoze the ground and, you know, plow those bushes over. And uh, FDR, you know, thought of it, so there we go. Alright, so I'm going to get these uh, trees pushed over a little bit. There we go. Now, let's see what we can do. These aren't really in a good spot, though, but we'll try to make it work. Yeah, see, that's the only problem is my controller's not cooperating. Okay, so how many trees have we got here? Let's see. There is one, two, three, four, five. We have five trees in there. Right, let's, there's no way we can get it back to the landing with that, right? Let's see what we can do here. So if we're careful, it looks like we're going to be able to get all five trees back there without them slipping out. I'm trying to be just as gentle as I can. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Five trees in one go. Well, one's trying to come out of there. But, I mean, you know, well, there it goes. All right, so, and then all the others are going to are gonna follow. Wow, I'm, I'm impressed with that. I am actually impressed. 
guess we could use the blade, you know, to, to bunch them up, but it was like, you know, oops, this dang controller. So if you don't squeeze too hard, you know, if, if you, if you remember like, you know, on the grapples and stuff, uh, the, the loader, you know, if you start to squeeze too hard, they'll start to jiggle around in there. I just noticed that that was what it was doing. So I backed off just a little bit. And uh, I was able to... Look at that. We got four in there right now. And they look pretty solid in there, too. So I imagine I could just about... I'm trying to stay away from my, my pile of logs over there. I don't want to mess that up. So the big thing, you know, is whenever you take sharp turns, usually that's when the logs going to start slipping out of there. I'm just completely messing this up. <laughs> I, I didn't, get, I didn't grab those, uh, those logs very good. One's right against the back, <laughs> it's making it drag funny. Anyway, that was that was four logs right there, four trees. That was that was good. I like that. that I'm impressed. We just about had five. So anyway, that, that is the uh, FDR logging John Deere 948L. And just real quick, while I was think, just thinking about it, I'm going to speed up time real quick and uh, let's check out the lights because we got to compare it, you know, to the, uh, uh, the Caterpillar 555. In fact, what I want to do is... Uh, Let's park the uh, John Deere right here, and real quick, let's hop over here while we're waiting on it to get dark, and let's grab this uh, Caterpillar skitter and just size compare, you know, just, just take a look. Because I think the, yeah, the 555, sh I think is the, the biggest Caterpillar makes right now, I'm pretty sure. I think it's the 535, 45, and then 5, triple 5. So they should be fairly close in size comparison. Yeah. I think the Caterpillar sits up just a little bit higher. They just about look alike, don't they? Hmm. All right. <laughs> there they they um. Hmm. Yeah, it's not quite exactly the same, but it's yeah, it's close. <laughs> yeah, it's close. <laughs> okay. So anyway, there's your size comparison between the the 948 and the triple five. I have to say I do like the tires better on the John Deere, though. I don't I don't really care for those kind of I don't know they're kind of rounded balloon style tires. I like those kind of more squared off looking tires. It's pretty aggressive. All right, so uh, I'm gonna be right back and we'll wait for it to get dark. All right, so that should be dark enough. Let's check out the lights. All right, you've only got really one option on the lights. You've only got, you know, front and back. Oh, that's... That's kind of odd. Wonder, wonder why the lights aren't showing whenever you move around. So they flip, you know, when you're when you're facing the tractor, there you can see the back, which, I mean, doesn't matter to me too much, but, I mean, it would be nice if... Because you know, if you're backing up like this and your your camera's way out there, that's that's interesting. Hmm. I'm not so sure if I like that or not. I mean, I guess you can still kind of see back here, but I mean, it's like there's some kind of shadow, you know, blocking right where the logs would be if you're trying to back up. Let me look in here and swing around this way. And yeah, see, if you're facing, if you're facing this way, even in this camera here, 
I mean, you can still kind of see. I guess it's not that big of a deal, but it is kind of weird that whenever you're f at the back of the tractor, you can see the front lights are on, and whenever you swing around this way, it's unobstructed in the back. I don't know. That's, that's kind of weird. So maybe maybe something that needs to be addressed. I don't know, because I mean, if you hop over here to this uh, caterpillar. I mean, gosh, that one right there lights up the whole night, but, I mean, you know, I don't think... Yeah, see, that one doesn't do anything whenever you move the camera around. And that one stays... Yeah. Hmm. Oh, well. I mean, you know, still a nice mod. I'm, I'm really loving this uh, John Deere 948. In fact, I'm, I'm probably going to use it some and... Uh, my videos. I'm, I'm probably going to uh, just pick one or the other for Grizzly Mountain and then whenever I get back to Bear Rock I'm probably just going to use the other one, whichever one I didn't pick for that map. But Anyway, hope you enjoyed this uh, mod review, the FDR Log and John Deere 948L Grapple Skitter. This is a very nice mod. And one thing I forgot to mention was I do I do like the tinted windows. That was, that was a nice touch. I like that. Uh, so that's, that's good. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you later.